Before I get started in one of my other videos, I talked about the fine seed kit. I uh, reached out to the dealer and uh, I haven't heard anything back. I was hoping for kind of a machine down response, but uh, the main guy I needed to talk to wasn't there and uh, uh, his sidekick uh, said he'd get back to me today, but I ain't heard a peep out of him. And so we're getting ready to get some rain again. And according to the manual, if I set this thing on 24 for the speed that I'm going, that's the minimum. That's the minimum they recommend uh, without getting clogged. So when this thing's open, that's what the openings look like. The, the downside is I'll be putting out a little more fertilizer than what I wanted. That's kind of on the border as far as, you know, requiring the thin seed kit. Uh, but, you know, I just need to get the fertilizer down. The clock's ticking, spring's uh, coming. I want to get some fertilizer down. The upside is uh, we may have hair. We may have, the upside is we may have hay running out of our ears. So let me fill this thing up with fertilizer and I'm going to fill it up. Uh, if it clogs, it clogs. Uh, I, I expect this machine to work. And, uh, you know, if I have to shovel this thing out, uh, probably will not be a happy camper. Got the TPS loaded up. When I get the uh, when I get the hopper extension on this thing, I'll have to bring more TP. I might have to add another box over here. It's because I'll stay out on the field longer. I hope. So right there is a thousand pounds of fertilizer. This is DAP 184600, and uh, so I'm gonna go out and spread this and see how it goes. Uh, that was 20 bags, 50 pound bags. And uh, Laylee kind of rounded up and run it over the sides a little bit. When I get to about 17, it was kind of at its capacity. I could take it on up, but uh, the Laylee would start spilling over the sides. So you can imagine if this is a thousand pounds, and I have a hopper extension that comes on up like this. Once I start putting fertilizer on that much, the hopper extension has 900 pounds more. So, uh, once I start doing that, the spreader will be on that tractor, the Massey 1105.
All right, so I, uh, I put enough fertilizer down on this field, and I'm getting ready to go to the one over there. And uh, there's what I got left. It'll probably go a lot quicker because of the shape of the cone. I uh, got out, checked it. Uh, things really doing a nice job. It throws the fertilizer. When it comes off, it comes off at just about 90 degrees. I walked out into it a little bit. And uh, I'll walk out here in the road real quick and uh, show you uh, some of the spreading. So I don't know if you can see the, the granules of fertilizer. That's one pass, one pass. And what I would try to do is to uh, overlap just a little bit. And when I, it's kind of a nice uh, reference. When I go across this road, I can kind of see as a cross where there's, if there's fertilized, you know, beyond me, or if I'm hitting it pretty good. And it seemed like I was hitting it uh, pretty consistent, at, you know, as good as you can with a toilet paper uh, marking system, but just kind of walking out here. There's some more. I got a lot more fertilizing to do. Uh, we have more videos. One thing I did to help me out, if it seemed like I was going faster across the field because I was, uh, I picked it up to like 5.3, I think, miles per hour, where normally I go like four. And uh, at this setting, 24 where I've got it. That's putting down like a hundred pounds uh, per acre and uh, of actual fertilizer and that's what I want and uh, so there's what I got left the John Deere 5055 D Kubota BS uh, 1000 missing the hopper same as the Vicon 1004 and uh, pendulum spreader so we'll talk to you later thanks for watching